Now, another point we see on that list that you mentioned is the blood vessels and the nervous system dysfunction. So, which we mentioned earlier is peripheral artery disease, PAD. So, Dr. Fernandez, can you explain using our, our 3D image, what is PAD and what the symptoms are that PAD, and, and sometimes you may not even know that you have PAD. Correct. Uh, so, peripheral arterial disease is the narrowing of the blood vessels, and we're going to uh, show that a uh, little, little bit more in detail, if you, if you don't mind. So, as we, so in uh, in peripheral arterial disease, the major the major complication of that is a blockage of the arteries by cholesterol plaque, causing a the blood flow to diminish to the extremities. When when that occurs, you've got much less blood flow, so the tissues further down right. are not getting the nourishment that they need when the patients exercise. So when the patients are exercising, the main, the main symptom that they get is cramping or pain in the leg. Mm -hmm. If you imagine a car, when you want to go about 50 miles an hour, you're going at 30, you step on the gas, you get more gas. Right. That's exactly what happens with the peripheral arterial disease. The patients are walking, the muscle is exercising, it needs a little more uh, nutrition more fuel, more gas, in this case the uh, blood cells or the blood supply. The arteries are constricted. When you have that constriction, not enough blood flow goes through and the patient will, will, will feel the, the, the cramping and will feel the discomfort in the leg. In an extreme uh, condition, we're gonna talk about the ischemic ulceration. Those are mm -hmm. ulcers that are due to a real severe decrease in the blood flow to the supply of the limb and those can inhibit uh, or, or uh, prevent those ulcers from healing in an adequate uh, fashion.